Good morning, I'm Claire from Creative The Otter Way and this morning I'm very excited to be bringing you this buckle card. I love a 3D card and when I saw this I just knew you would love it too. So this one is made just like that. Very quick and simple to put together and I'm going to show you how. These are some of the items we're going to use. The beautiful autumn set that's available in the new August December catalogue. We're actually going to use that greeting and that stamp there. We're also going to use this stamp set, gather together just for that little sentiment there. We're going to use um, the gathered leaf dies from Stampin' Up. I don't know if you can see those beautiful detailed leaves there. We've used one as an embellishment there. And I've used the bronze metallic card that's available in the catalogue as well. And lastly, we're going to use a stitched frame die from the set and uh, one of the squares from the layered squares dies just as a border around the outside. So there are the supplies we're going to use. The papers, as you can see here, this is the bronze in the inside I've used um, very vanilla as well and on this one the card is Blackberry Bliss but the designer series paper is actually in the new catalogue it's the Gilded Autumn speciality designer series paper special because it's very um, sparkly it's got lots of bronzes and golds on there that really make the designs pop out um, the second card that we're going to make, I'm going to use a different paper on it. So I'm going to be using this one with the acorns. And the reverse of this, can you see that's that one, of the stripes. And the colour that really stood out on there to me is the Cajun um, Craze. So we're going to be using that as well and a little bit of um, Whisper White. So, let me show you how to make it. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to do is get your A4 piece of card and just cut it in half lengthways. So the measurement of that is four and one eighth and that literally gives you two pieces of card. So you're going to get two cards out of this. Bargain! I'm going to turn it sideways and I need to cut that off at nine and three quarters, which is way off the screen. That's end, but you'll end up with that piece there. And that is gonna be your buckle, and this is your card base. Now, I need to score this long piece at five and seven eighths. So five and seven eighths, make sure your cutter blade is out of the way and score it. Okay, nice score mark there. So we're going to use that in a minute. Your belt piece, now you need it that length, but you need it one and five eighths. So you're going to cut a tiny sliver off to the side of it. And don't worry about that. That's just my scorer dropping on the floor. So I'm just going to turn this sideways and I need to score it at three quarters. So let's see, score, not cut, score at three quarters. So that should give me three little pieces like that. So if I bring those back on the screen, so burnish that fold there. Okay. Ooh. Put my pot the wrong side, so I'm going to be stretching across. Let me move it. Okay, so that's basically that's my card base. This little piece you're not going to need, so you can get rid of that. And this little bit is your buckle, so just burnish that as well. Okay, now, so simple to put together. We need some designer series paper to decorate it and keep it in place. So the first piece that we need is some designer series paper that is three inches by four inches. Now I've decided to do the stripe on the inside and this one on the front, okay? 
the first bit that we need, have a play around because it may be that you like the other side of the paper. Can you see? Look how that sparkles. That actually looks nicer than I thought it would. What's on the other side of this? Maybe I'm going to change the design midway through. Mm, not sure about that sideways. Although, it's not looking too bad. So, same paper, two different makes. Now, let's stick to this. So, stripe is going to go in there, but the first thing I need to do is adhere my belt to it. So, this little tab here, you're going to need to put some double-sided tape or your glue, your Tombow glue. Just put some on there. Okay. And you're going to stick it where you think is midway. You could measure, but that's just going to go on there. So the only bit that's stuck is that little flap there. Okay, and just press that down until it's stuck. And then that gets stuck onto there. And just leave a little bit of a border around. So let's put some glue on there. Stick it all over. really love these autumn papers. Autumn is actually my favourite time of year. Closely followed by winter. But I think that's because it's the crafting months. No excuses. You have to stay in and craft because the weather's so awful. Okay, so just fold that over. Remember that's not going to be glued. And you're just pressing that down until it's done. <clears throat> Now obviously this is the inside of the card, so you need somewhere to write your sentiment. So I've used some Whisper White, and this bit, this piece of card here is two and five eighths by four, and that will stick exactly next to there. You could leave a little bit of a border. It's up to you, it's your card, it's your design. Um, actually I might do that because it looks quite nice. And I'm gonna stamp my sentiment on there first, so that if anything goes wrong and I don't like it, I can turn it over. The card has two sides, so let's make use of them. Okay, mistakes happen, don't they? So, I've got my sentiment and I decided that I was going to use Early Espresso as my colour to ink. Just so that it stands out. And I'm going to stamp on here just in case my surface isn't flat. I'm using an old mouse mat and that just gives me enough of a soft padded area that's not too soft. So when I apply a bit of pressure, it's even all over. Love that sentiment. So that. That's going to get stuck on the inside there. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on there. You could use double sided tape. I think you've heard me mention before I like the wiggle room of Tombow. And I did actually like the border. So I'm going to leave that slightly separate. Okay, so that is the inside of my card done. Okay. Now let's go move to the front. So I've picked another piece of designer series paper, this time with the acorns on. Not sure which way around I want it. Not that it makes too much difference. This um, piece for the top, now what did I say that was? Three and three quarters by four. So let's put some glue on there. Still unsure whether to do it that way around. Nope, let's stick with the acorns. Who doesn't love an acorn? Now this hasn't got any ribbon or anything on it, but you could easily add some detail to the front with some ribbon. You could jazz this up to make it more feminine and frilly, um, just because it's a, a belt buckle type card it doesn't mean it has to be for a male so that's the front okay now how are we going to turn this into a buckle so i have got my trusted punch that cuts a slot here 
You can get one in the catalogue now, but it's slightly different shapes. And I need to mark where my belt buckle is. So I'm just going to use a little marker just to put where the center is, I think. Just so that when I put this over, it's roughly in the middle. And just punch that out. And that gives me my little slot for my buckle to go through. Done. So that's your card, okay? Now to decorate the front, I've used my squares. So I've got my layered square here and I'm going to stick this stitch label on the top, but I'm just gonna stamp the front of it with the beautiful autumn, my heart is grateful for you. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one first. Again, in early espresso, and I'm gonna stamp it on here just so I get a better impression from the stamp set. Now, I always put my stamps on diagonally, unless I'm using the Stamparators, of course, because then you line the stamp up and not the block. Um, it makes you focus on the stamp rather than your block. I'm just gonna put that where I think the middle is. Just gently press, lovely. And the other stamp I was going to use was this little piece here. And now I haven't got my other inks through. So let's use my stamping marker because you can use those on your stamps. And this is cinnamon cider. So I'm just going to place that on the middle. And then I've got my brush end. Let Actually, just going to brush over there. Okay. Let's see how that comes out. Just there. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to layer that onto the square with some Tombow. Wiggle room, remember, so that I can move it around until I'm happy. Okay, so that's that. Now, how to place it on here. So, use some dimensionals. I put some either end of your belt so that you know where they're going to be. So that that will cover over it slightly. And then there's going to be dimensionals that end, so I'm going to just put some the other side, like that. Find all these hexes everywhere. What's the strangest place you've ever found one? Mm, I'm not sure, I just seem to find them everywhere. That goes just over the top of there. So that's done. And then I've got some of the leaves left over from a workshop. So I've got a couple of different colours here. Let's see. Can you see how detailed they are? I think actually that one might look nice. Because I've used the um, Early Espresso ink, I think that actually fits perfectly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm only, because I like the way it's curled up, I'm only going to put a dab of glue in the middle because I don't want it pressed flat. And I just press the middle with my thumb or finger. And there's my card done. <coughs> so that's the one we've just made together. That's the original one. I hope you like it. I really like this card. I, I think I might have a go at making it a bit girly um, and see what I can do with that. But it's a lovely card. Just to prove the buckle works, you just tuck it in. Done. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and I'll see you soon, girls. Bye.